ladies and gentlemen, this is a catchweight contest, a match made over a time of 30 minutes, six rounds, five minutes each round with two pinfalls, two submissions, or a knockout to decide the winner. Ladies and gentlemen, I have very great pleasure and privilege to present to you in the corner on my right, the lightweight wrestling champion of Great Britain, Steve Gray. And his opponent in the red corner on my left, ladies and gentlemen, that ever popular Greek-American star, Tornado, Billy Torontos. And your referee, Mr. Peter Zakash. Grapple fans, good afternoon to you, and once again here at the Lewisham Concert Hall, Catford, we welcome you to another professional wrestling session, and we start this afternoon's proceedings with the uh, catchweight contest between Steve Gray, the British lightweight champion at 10 stone 7, he's in the black trunks, and his opponent, Bill Torontis, originally from Chicago, the Greek-American from Chicago, 14 and a half stone. So once again... Joint promotions have decided on a catchweight bout for Steve Gray because Steve is so quick, so fast, since he got that title especially, that British lightweight belt. They're putting him more and more against the heavier fellas to see how he fares. Well, today he's giving away exactly four stone to Bill Torontis. That may be a little bit much, but uh, the next six five-minute rounds will tell us. Two falls to decide it. What are the characters of the wrestling ring this fall? Peter Zakash, the third man in the ring, the referee, the Hungarian or former Hungarian. There he is now. He, of course, is a naturalized British. So, on luck to Toronto. out of the afternoon of course follows this one uh, McManus versus Chris Adams Mick McManus Chris Adams is second semi-final for the vacant heavy middleweight title of Great Britain who will get which of these two men McManus Adams will get into the final to meet Mark Rockman from Blackburn in a very short while on television Back to this one, the catchweight bout. And already Toronto is starting his <laughs> trains. <laughs> Don't know whether he can't do it or he pretends to his opponent he can't do it. But it's really great fun watching this character. Figure four leg lock now to Toronto. And a couple of minutes left in this first round of six. He's out. Took him quite a while and quite a bit of energy, but he's out. Tried to go over the top of that leg, but uh, missed by a mile. Try again. Yeah. Still not good. 
Ray will not allow that left leg of his to turn. Third effort. He's got a minute to do it in. <laughs> it, oh, almost that time. So near, but Ray still has the hold on. That's the net result of that. Toronto's out of trouble for the moment. Now, can he get a real good rest? Yes, he can. You see, he's just well. Oh, didn't last, but it was a very neat move into a head scissors. Trying the same again. Gray is so quick. Almost before he was in the hole, he was out of it. <laughs> Trying it himself. Five seconds to go. The body scissors to Billy Torontos. Didn't really pay him because the bell went as he got it. Steve Gray, the man who was so popular before he got that uh, British lightweight belt, but now, of course, he's finally made it, one of his greatest life's ambitions, and he be has become one of the most popular light lighter wrestlers in the business today. Steve Gray from Peckham, Southeast London at 10 stone 7, giving away four stone to Bill Torontos, the Greek American. Round two, five to go, and two falls to the side of the bottles. No score. just took him exactly one minute, 15 seconds, into round two. John Harris, our master of ceremonies. Ladies and gentlemen, the second round, the first fall of the match goes to Steve Gray. It's not bad when you consider this fellow giving away four stone to a very experienced wrestler indeed. Now, his opponent may kid around a bit, but he's got the wrestling technique all right if he wants to use it. There, doesn't look too happy at the moment, but it's around us. He's going to have to get up soon because any second the bell to start round three. Six away, round three. Now, can Billy Toronto come back into this bout? Steve Gray leading by one fold to nil. Gray in the black trunks and the light silver boots. Steve Gray trying to get Toronto to look back. Trying upwards. So Billy Toronto tries to distract Gray's attention now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great stuff. <laughs> oh, he missed the return move just by about a two feet, but otherwise it's great. I hope he, for his sake, he doesn't try and copy everything Gray does. He hasn't done so well on his copies so far. Must 
the body scissors on from the back. Our move that Toronto started. Gray finished quite neatly until that roll out. By the bigger man. Reverse double knee hold and Toronto says no. And in no circumstances could you get another fall over me. Well we'll see. Good preliminary contest this to lead nicely into the main bar of the afternoon, the semi-final. <laughs> well, you've seen Gray do that, of course, and uh, go over the back, but... A little heavy for it. Especially when you're in the back hammer, too. That's more the stuff to Rollison come out with. Oh, he has caught in the arm lock on the way. Back hammer now on to Gray. Two minutes to go in the third. <laughs> great. Really great. to a double finger in the lock. And Gray hooking the other foot down to make the double into lock there. Gray decides we'll try and turn this the other way. Both deciding to pull out a stalemate with just under a minute to go. And listen to that applause for a good sportsmanship from both men. <laughs> but he won't stay there for your benefit. <laughs> Trying to spin out, but Gray was ready for it. Landed right on his feet. Again, the finger into lock. <laughs> and again, Gray goes for the hands. And Gray has got about 10 seconds. No, the bell saves Toronto any further problem from that one. The end of round three, Billy Tarantis. His speciality, anything that comes, he told me several years ago when I asked him. Most of these wrestlers have a, a speciality. Moves, his opponent today has got a jumping step over leg lock into a toe hold, which, but his, anything that comes. Set away round four. I think he can probably handle most of it when it does come to halfway through the bout, three rounds to go, one fall up. Steve Gray. Steve Gray in the black trunks. Full Nelson to Gray. Peter Zakash, no problem with this bout. He might have a little more trouble with the semi final for the heavy middleweight belt. The next bout, Mike McManus in the ring. They can more or less relax on this one. Uh, 
Oh, he's going to try that same move, surely, that Dre tried in the first, but he's too late. <laughs> he's too late. <laughs> Who <laughs> missed that stamp by about seven or eight inches there? Greg got the drop kick in so quick. Look at the speed of this boy. And nicely over there. Oh, he caught that one well in Tarantis. Very well. Yes. And Billy Tarantis back in the bout now in round four. And it took him one minute, 17 seconds. John Harris. Ladies and gentlemen, the fourth round, and an equalizing fall goes to Tornado Billy Torrentos. Yes. <laughs> he knows which camera's on him. <laughs> and a very good equalizer it was, too. Two rounds to go, one fall each. Now, anybody's guess from now on. Sect away, round five. As we go into round five. Whoever wins this has been a great preliminary contest. Very, very good one. Great fun, good sportsmanship, nice wrestling. And one of the best moves was that, and quickest moves, was funny enough, was by Toronto in that end of that last round. Got a great folding press in from the side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, let's hope he doesn't try that one. His impersonations of Steve Gray are not that hard. <laughs> Gray, a little bit too light. Four stone lighter. <laughs> Yes, but caught, and Gray, has he got the weight to hold those legs down? He has. One minute, ten seconds into round five, and it's T. Gray, the lighter man, by four stone, who gets the decision. And your master of ceremonies to announce it, John Harris. And ladies and gentlemen, by two calls to one, the winner, Steve Gray. And a hand for the loser, Tornado Billy Torontos.